few weeks ago, we started looking at the Sermon on the Mount. This is in Matthew's Gospel, just for a review. What are the four Gospels? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Nice. And in Matthew, he tells a story of Jesus preaching on the mountainside, and he's doing it for a long time. It's three chapters of straight teaching. This is like the longest sermon of all time. But because Jesus was so good at talking to people, folks loved it. They just wanted to be where he was and hear whatever it is that he had to say to them. And in one passage, he, he tells this story. He says, don't store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moths and vermin, yeah, where moths and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But instead, store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Now, in the ancient world, your heart is sort of like the symbol for your entire being. It's everything about you, your, your intellect and your, your soul and, and your passions and all of this stuff is symbolized by your heart. And what Jesus is saying is don't waste a lot of time on things that don't benefit the world. Don't waste your time on things that just kind of end up in the trash can. I don't know if there's been like things that you've wanted for Christmas and you were like just so excited about getting this toy. And then after a few months, you realize it's really not that cool and you don't play with it anymore. Something like that. Don't, don't waste all your time thinking about these things. And as I was wondering about this passage, I started thinking about something that I have begun to do over uh, the last few months as we've been spending a lot of time at home. I have been collecting, wait for it, baseball cards. So when I was a kid, I used to love getting baseball cards. I would go to the drugstore with my mom and they would have packs of cards and my sister would go over and she would touch the packs and then she would claim to feel some sort of a heat where all of the good players were. She is crazy, I know. We, it was fun though. So she would try to pick the best packs and then we would buy them and open them up and we'd get all the people that we like to watch on TV, whatever. I had a great time with it. And over the last few months, I've been looking at my old cards and I've actually been buying a bunch of cards on eBay, stuff like this. Look at it. Woo! This is a Christian Yelich 2013 rookie. I also have a new 2019 Pete Alonzo rookie. They're in these fancy little cases and they say what somebody somewhere has has graded them, whether it's a good card or a bad card, and that determines how much money they're worth. It's, it's silly, but I've been staying up real late thinking about baseball cards, and I've been on eBay trying to find the cheapest baseball cards, and I've been sort of storing up for myself treasures on earth because I've got a whole case of baseball cards. Jesus goes on to say, nobody can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You can't serve God and money. And here he's sort of saying, you can't care about treasures on earth and treasures in heaven. Now, the first thing I wanna say about this is, when he talks about treasures, uh, in heaven, he's not talking about when you get up there, you'll get all these fancy jewels in your crown. That's not it. Uh, in this sermon, the treasures in heaven are probably the acts of righteousness, like we talked about a couple weeks ago. Giving to the needy, praying, fasting, thinking about God and trying to be about the things that God is about. Nobody can take that from you, but people can take my baseball cards. My baseball cards, despite the fancy cases that they're in, they might end up destroyed. They might end up just getting soaked in a bunch of water. Oh man, I hope not. But then they'll be ruined. But the things that can't be ruined are the things like our prayers and our helping others and our focused attention on God. And what Jesus seems to be saying here is you can't do both. So what does that mean? Because I like baseball cards. And I know there's stuff that you like too. 
and I'm not really sure if I know how to answer this. But I would say that there's moments in my life where my attention has been too focused on baseball cards, and as a result, I have not been able to help other people, and that is bad. And there has never been a moment when if I'm focused on helping the needy and being present for people and focusing on God and what God wants to do and focusing on prayer that I haven't been able and willing to help people. Jesus says, you can't do both. You can only serve one. And I want us to think about the things that we care about I want us to think about the things that we might serve. I believe that I can collect some baseball cards and that doesn't necessarily detract me from helping you guys if something comes up or loving the people in my life really well or being able to see folks that are hurting and step in and meet a need if I'm able to do that. But I also know that sometimes the things that we like, they just take us with them. Like some of you guys might like playing video games and you just veg out in front of the TV for hours. Some of you might like just watching TV. Some of you guys might like swimming or doing whatever. And those things are fine, but when they become everything to you, when your entire heart and life and soul are with them, then we miss out on a lot of the good stuff that we're supposed to do. So here's what Jesus says, and I'd encourage you guys to think about it. Don't store up for yourselves treasures on earth but instead store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, things that people can't take away from you, things that will never be destroyed, things like helping the needy and praying and being about what God is about. Because wherever our treasure is, that's where we will be also. So let's think about the way we spend our time and where our hearts are. Tattoo. Tattoo, 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 tattoo.